The Kipco handicap is next mile and a half, this time 0 to 100. Nature King at the top for Leon van Rensburg. Harry Potter, Paul Rose, Disco Heaven, Nick Driver, Wiggy Hughes, Jai Bermanstein, Clone Chippendale, James Shea, Panga Orbs, Darren Thompson, Dremoyne Stardust, Patrick Hogan, Voracious Paul Parsons, Breeze On Through, Obi-Wan, Norval Electric, Graham Clutterbuck and Goss Beck Spell for Derek Hinton, a field of 11. In this one, ready they go, and away they go. Uh, breeze on through, got out nicely. So to right over on the far side of the pink jacketed Gosbeck spell, but it's breeze on through. It was pulling for its head, wants to go quick. Still pulling for its head, won't settle at all at the moment. But still just about holds the lead. But now being taken on by the top by Nature King, and Nature King has gone on. So Nature King then two lengths. To the good for Leon van Rensburg, the grey Wiggy Hughes has come around the outside to take a share of second with about five or six all the horses at the moment as they race on up the Newmarket Strait and Nature King is the clear leader from Harry Potter who's now just about second ahead of Gosbeck Spell and Wiggy Hughes. Breeze on through on the inside is still there as well then Disco Heaven and Clone Chippen down on the inside. Closest to us Dremoyne Chippen, uh, Dremoyne Stardust is towards the rear and Panga Orbs is the back marker at this point so Nature King then it's a good three clear of the yellow jacketed Harry Potter in second place the white jacket closest to us is Voracious on that one's inside is the grey Wiggy Hughes Gosbeck Spell on the inside of that one in the pink jacket having a little look round to see Nick Driver's Disco Heaven trying to come through to challenge Breeze on through is now Moving up into third on the rail, looking towards the back, Clone Chippendale and Panga Orbs are still the back two. Norval Electric's also towards the rear, but it's Nature King who's in the lead with five furlongs still to go. Gosbeck Spell now moving up to try and join that one in second place. Then comes Harry Potter and brings on through on that one's inside. Up the centre of the track, Voracious and Wiggy Hughes are next. Disco Heaven is trying to get going. Panga Orbs is trying to run through from the back. Dremoyne Stardust has now dropped to the back, but it's Nature King who's still in front with three Three and a half furlongs left to go. Gosbeck Spell is in second. And there's a line of four or five of them coming through now. Harry Potter has come through into second. It's Nature King and Harry Potter then from Voracious back in third. Gosbeck Spell is next. Then Wiggy Hughes, who's running on again, coming from the back. Panga Orbs is trying to get into it. Clone Chippendale trying to get a split up the inside. But Harry Potter's hit the front of the two ball. Harry Potter from Nature King in second. Back in third is Gosbeck Spell. Wiggy Hughes running on in fourth. But it's Harry Potter who's in front. Nature King is trying to fight back. The top two in the weights. It's Harry Potter and Nature King having a battle, and now Harry Potter starts to assert. Harry Potter coming into the final half furlong has gone two to three lengths clear, and Harry Potter is going to take this one pretty comfortably from Wiggy Hughes and Gosbeck Spell close for second. Panda Rawls run on to be fourth. Dremoyne Stardust also came from the back. Nature King dropped right out of it. Obviously went far too quick early on. Uh, I think Nature King might have even been last, but Harry Potter. He's the easy winner, two to three lengths, I would say, for Paul Rhodes, I think that is. And a winner on Guinea's Day, maybe not the race he would have wanted, but I'll take it, I'm sure. Harry Potter, the winner for Paul Rhodes. Gosbeck Spell for Derek Hinton, second. Wiggy Hughes, Jai Bermanstein, third. Panga Orbs, Darren Thompson, fourth. And Dremoyne Stardust for Padraig Hogan was fifth.